everyone, this is Barbie's Genius Designs. It sounded like I lost my voice. That would be pretty tragic if that was the case. <laughs> I'm getting ready to do a cute pattern that Jenna sent me. It's a free pattern. It's called the Lowe's Logie Pouch. Here it is. It is so similar to the Jordan Pouch. It's a free pattern, but it's bigger. And I am not lining these at all. They don't need to be. They're little pouches. You can, though. So here is the first one I made. And I put tabs on each end. Look at the bottom. Look how wide they are. And they're taller. I don't have a Jordan pouch in here or I'd show you the difference. Maybe when I get uh, these others done, I'll show you the difference between a Jordan pouch and the Logie pouch. So I'm going to make two. I'm going to do one. I'm going to show you how to do it if you have directional prints. So here's just two pieces in the blue. This is not directional, but if you had directional, you could certainly do it this way. Outside tabs, inside binding. There are two little pieces of binding. I'm going to use this blue zipper tape, and I have these little Paris zipper pulls. And the second one I'm gonna do is out of this snake skin and this rose gold zipper tape and a rose gold pull. I'm not lining any of them. Um, they're a pretty quick sew, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing is I cut my uh, zipper tape 20 inches. It's a, probably a little long, but I like to have extra to put my zipper pull on when I'm done. And I'm just finding the middle of my zipper tape and then I'm finding the middle of these two curved sides. I'll link the pattern. Thank you, Jenna, for sending it to me. These, I like these because they're a little bigger. That's really probably the only difference. Now you could put tape here double side tape and tape these on. I don't think it's necessary because it just gums up your needle. Just pull it around, right sides together. I don't even, I don't even clip the whole thing. I am using some roll, uh, Tex 45 roll, rose gold um, thread from so yours. I love it. It's really nice. And I'm using about a three and a half inch stitch length. Just go around the corners. And um, I, I do not clip my zipper tape. It just doesn't need it. And it really, it decreases the integrity. So I just don't do it. You can, you can feel comfortable with it and putting some fray check or something on it. You could certainly do it. I bet you love free patterns. I did free pattern live yesterday. And this is gonna be another one. This isn't mine though. And then I do a pretty good job of cleaning it, <clears throat> cleaning it up as I go because these will be raw edge. So okay, then you're gonna undo. I start by clipping this in so I don't get all mixed up. Mm -hmm. And then you can unzip your zipper tape. So again, right sides down. The one thing I did notice when I made the first one is it's because it's a little bigger pouch, it's much easier to turn. Now, it really depends on if you want a bigger pouch or not, you know? The 
the Jordan pouch is plenty big for me, but if I have, uh, if I'm going on a trip or something and I want to take some extra things, this would probably be my go-to. I'll show you. I'll start the other one. Okay. So now we are going to fold this over and top stitch. If you were putting lining on, you would put it on now before you turn this in top stitch, obviously. Just want to make sure your zipper tape is underneath there. Nice and smooth. tabs on each end. I like tabs on the bigger pouches. I'm currently carrying a small Jordan pouch and I did not put tabs on it. It's small and it doesn't need it. It's actually called the short Jordan pouch. join my Facebook group you should because we're going to be doing a sew along in June there's a poll out there on my Facebook group for what pattern we're going to do okay I'm going to put my zipper pull on I'm not even putting tags on these right now I'm kind of running low on tags and I just like hmm <clears throat> you know what, I just thought, let's put these uh, little tabs on first. These are four inches. The other ones I were a little short. I didn't like it. So center it on this straight edge. And baste it in place. Again, I'm putting them on both ends. So we'll see compared to the other one, how um, it looks. It's a little one inch longer. Yeah, definitely put those on. If you're, if you're gonna use them before you put your zipper pull on. All right, now let's put our zipper pull on. Let's see if that's pretty even. Perfect. All right, then you are going to 
flatten these. The rest of this is really exactly like the Jordan pouch. Just center your zipper there. So just like that. And you can do, uh, I'm just doing a little more than a quarter inch. going to trim all that off just ever so slightly make it nice and even for our little piece of binding and I'm just using a scrap of Theratex for this binding I was cleaning up my um, fabric room today and I found all kinds of scraps I threw a bunch away that are just not useful. You know, I just keep things and I think I'm gonna use them and I don't end up using them and then they just clutter my room, you know? And I just went back over my zipper tape for one extra. Okay, then we'll cut off the excess exactly like the little Jordan. end is finished. No rye edges. Now this one, because the zipper tape, the zipper pull is down there, you just want to bring it to the center and clip it and make sure that your zipper ends are even. And then we'll just stitch that in place as well. Trim your zipper. Make sure this is nice and even for your um, little piece of binding. Add your binding. We're almost done. Excess off, turn it, and we're done. That's how fast these are. And they're such great little gifts. Just give it to somebody for no reason. Or take them to uh, a craft fair and sell them for 10 or 15 bucks. 20 bucks, whatever you decide. I'm just using a bunch of scraps for these. Okay, let's turn it. Again, you could line them and then you could sell them for easily for 20 bucks. Punch your corners out. Zip it up. Yeah, I like the four inch tabs. They're a little big, maybe three, three and a half. Three and a half would probably be better. Those are just a tiny bit big. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Put your little tag on and you open it up and it's huge. I love it. So now I've done two of them. So this one was three. See how short it is? It might've been actually a little short, shorter than three. I think three is what I've done on the Jordan couch. So I'm gonna do three on the next one. All right, let me get my stuff ready. All right, so if you're going to do a um, directional print, 
you would just, uh, and she shows you how to do that. You've got an extra little seam here. I just added about a quarter inch seam on each side because I had already printed my pattern. And now I'm just gonna sew that at a quarter inch. So the difference will be you'll have a seam in the bottom. Not a big deal. So, I mean, this one would be perfect to um, put a lining in, but I'm not doing it. And then I'm going to fold those over in top stitch. Just an eighth of an inch from each side. This is some of the Kaya. I think this is the rain. It's very pretty. down the other side. Okay. So that's what it looks like the inside. No big deal. No big deal. All right, we're still gonna get our centers here. I already centered my zipper. Let's add our zipper. You could use number three zipper tape here too, if you wanted to. If you've watched my channel at all, you know that I shy away from number three. <laughs> I know, I don't like it. Okay, here we go. Right sides together. bring the other side of the zipper tape and center it and then we can um, divide the, the zipper. You don't have to but it makes it easier. Separate the zipper I should say. Is it probably a better term?
a tag on this one. Uh, uh, that one's here. Never mind. I was going to put a metal tag, but then I thought, mm, I'm not even lining this. So. Can't put a metal tag. Alright, so the next step is to put our little tabs on, and you don't have to. Those are optional. So these I cut three inch. We'll see what the difference is if I like them better. There's a little center here with your seam, which is nice. sides. Yeah, these I think these will be better. We'll see. It's so hot that I've got my fan on in here even. You know, it's crazy. All right, let's put our zipper pull on. Oh no, no, oh, no, no. Top stitch. Top stitch around your zipper. Mm, that would have been disappointing. other side. Right now, put your zipper pull on. Mm -hmm. And it's important to start with a straight zipper as well. That way, when you put it on, you know you've got it on even and straight. Mm -hmm. Maybe this last works. one you have a little center mark which is actually kind of nice don't get, really even need it with it
turn that up. And I'm just using this uh, beige binding again. It's on the inside, nobody's ever going to see. It's just to cover the raw edge. If you don't catch it, just go over it again. It's okay. It looks fine. Okay. Now let's see this other end. And this other end is uneven, so. I'm not going to worry about it. It'll work out in the end. Let's see how we do. You want to get your zipper tape straight. Yeah. And you want it to be nice and together. There we go. Is that straight? No. There we go. So if you don't like binding, this is probably the easiest binding you will ever, ever do. So when I say caught it good, you just want to make sure you're catching it on this side and this side. And So if this had been directional print, you just wanted to make, you would want to make sure that your print is going up on both sides. Oh my goodness, guys. This is about the cutest little pattern. Yeah. So I'm going to suggest three inches for your tabs. Four inches is a little too big and two and a half or two is too small. Okay, there's three patches I've made within like an hour. Cut them out, set them up. So there's your seam on the bottom, it looks beautiful. No seam on the bottom on either of these. But you can see this has, <laughs> this is kind of funny. This is a four inch tab, this is a three inch tab, and this is like a two and a half inch tab. 
So the three inches, the winner for me. Perfect. Sell them for 10 to $20, whatever you choose. If you line them, you could sell them for a little more. But they're good size to put all kinds of things in. So there's no raw edges except for on the bottom where you um, put the seam and then your zipper. That's it. All right, guys, the Logie pouch. It's a free pattern. I will link it in the description below. So here they all are. I'll hold them all up. I made these in less than an hour, cutting to sewing. But they're nice size. Now, if you line them, they'd be probably a little more sturdy, but they're just pouches. So it doesn't really, and it depends on the fabric you use. These two are a little more uh, substantial. The vinyl is a little more substantial. You can make them out of cotton. Um, I would line them if you're gonna do cotton, obviously. Maybe I'll do a live sometime this week and we'll make some and we'll line them and we'll do an actual uh, directional print. But that's it. That's all there is. I hope you're having a great Monday and uh, I'll get this released and put the pattern in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>